What's going on world? It's your boy Big Chips here. Today I'm coming back with the second part of what we've been talking about today or this week and the nine factors to unstoppable confidence or of unstoppable confidence. Today really rings true for factor number two. You know, the second key to unstoppable confidence. You know, right now we're dealing with a closed government. Mm-mm-mm. I actually shot a video about that, and I'm not sure I'm going to put it up because I was very, very upset with the situation. A lot of people that are talking about it. But today, factor two is perception, okay? And it's how you perceive something to be. You know, the meaning of life is what you make it, right? So what you perceive, what you see is basically, you know, what you're what you're making it. I mean, there is really no other options to it. Perception is key to everything. So if you look at something in a negative light or you look at it in a positive light, let me move that out of the way. You know, that's how you're going to view it and that's how you're going to be. So I guess like a, a synopsis story would be, you know, someone who's walking out of a bathroom. You know, you, you ever done this and you, you walk out and you've got the toilet paper stuck to your uh, to your foot. You know, one guy walks out and he's got it stuck to his foot and everybody's laughing. You know, kind of laughs a little bit and they're like, <laughs> you know, and the guy just gets, or girl, we'll use a girl because girls are real bad for getting intimidated or scared or upset by something easily. You know, and it just takes off running crying. She perceived it to be something horrible, traumatic, you know, and then another woman comes along does the same thing and she looks down I, I would say somebody like my mom because she would do this and she just starts rolling she's laughing thinks that is the funniest thing she's ever ever seen so you know perception of how the two women you know correlated with it and responded is totally different you know not saying that you're unconfident if you flip out or cry or get scared or whatnot but it's perceiving the better perceiving the good all right we look at today and we have a closed government okay the government shut down those who perceive that as a bad thing are crying they're worried they're scared what is our country gonna do but those of us who are confident <laughs> we look at this and i mean no matter how you, how you how you cut it up it's going to be the same thing you know I used an example yesterday of no matter how you slice the piece of cake, it's still going to be cake no matter how you slice it up. So some thinner, some are thicker, whatever. But to me, I look at it and say, number one, our government is freaking crooked anyway. I mean, they, we won't go into that. We'll, we'll save that for the other video if I decide to put it in. But, uh, you know, it's like today I got this bruise right there. Hit myself in the head, so... It's been one of those days, you know. I come home and the wife's wanting me to reorganize, which I've been needing to anyway, to restructure my office a little bit so I can actually get to my whiteboard again. I had a table out in front of it. and At first, I perceived it as bad. I, I perceived it as like almost like an attack. Like, really? You, you know, you're attacking me. And the more I thought about it and the more I was sitting here looking at it, I'm like, you know, I can actually get to my board. I can actually get to the situation of teaching on my whiteboard and instead of my son's. <laughs> but, you know, and I, start, I keep looking at it and I'm like, you know, I could make this a bad thing or I could find the good. And not only did I find the good, but good things happen because of it. You know, I got my computer working again, so I'm about to boot that bad boy up and hopefully be able to work off a off my computer during the daytime so that is pimp 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 so for you know and i know all this really doesn't have to do with confidence but i want you to understand where where the perception comes into play because if i wasn't confident that i could do something or if i wasn't confident that i could just you know go all day and then just knock a video out at the end when i'm done I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd sit there worried. I would sit there scared. I'd make up excuses on, well, I can do one. I've had too much bad going on today. You know, about knocked myself out today. But I'm still sitting there thinking, I'm like, you know, I ain't worried about it. I'll still get my video out. Yeah. 
it's not that I'm just doing a video challenge for anybody because I do videos daily anyway. But it, it's more or less to help my team, to show my team. You know, and that's why I started this non serious to unstoppable confidence. Because these are all things that you gotta have. You gotta be confident in your business. You gotta be confident in your life in whatever you do. So it starts with these these nine triggers, these nine habitual things that you need to do daily and diligently and congruently and always look and strive for more. So, you know, that's why we end today with factor two. And that's perception. And I really hope that today you start perceiving things more confidently. The government shut down. That's horrible. It's bad. I understand that. But it's just a ploy, people. It's just a ploy. They're, they're going to do this. Democrats going to blame Republicans. Republicans are going to blame Democrats. It's everybody's fault. But you know what? We can't afford to run Medicaid. We can't afford to do Obamacare. Just saying, look at the numbers and they don't lie. And frankly, a lot of people, that's what, why they're perceiving life is bad right now. Because they're getting laid off. And then having to come back on as contract employees. So you know what? Well, I'm talking about that. If you are getting laid off and brought back as a contract employee so that they don't have to pay that high tax on you and cover you under requirement Obamacare... Go to work for yourself. That's what a contract worker is. Except instead of making somebody else rich, you make yourself rich. There's just some confidence right there. That's that's how you make it. So I'm all kicked back today, getting the office done, trying to get it cleaned up again. But uh, I need a I need a I need a refreshing mind. I need my mind expanded so I can really get in with what, you know, the Biz Nut and I are doing at Big, Big Chips, at Big Chips, what the Biz Nut and Big Chips is doing, you know, and what together we're forming and what com is going to be. And my friend, that is the essence of confidence because that's what drives us, that's what makes us, that's what is going to take com to another level. I can actually make puppets. But anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Factor number deuce. We are doing perception. Start using your head to perceive good, thinking good, and bringing that in. Instead of looking at everything as worst case scenario bad. Because confident people don't do that. Confident people know and expect the best. And I expect the best for you, so... That's all I got. So make it a great day. I dare you.